Hey everyone, today we're making Kerry Gold Dubliner Cheese Stuffed Chicken Breasts in the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. The Cooking Everything Outdoors show is sponsored by Camp Chef at OutdoorCooking.com and IslandGrillStone.com. Well, I hooked up with my friends over at Kerry Gold Cheese and I kind of begged them to let me cook this recipe on the show. And we're going to be using their Dubliner Irish Cheese which is aged, it's got a little nutty flavor to it. I absolutely love this cheese. I'm gonna be using my kettle pizza, pizza insert uh, on a Weber kettle, and we're gonna bake with this, because you know you bake pizzas, you've seen me bake a ton of different stuff on this, and we're gonna bake chicken on it today. Ingredients wise, this fits within my requirements for keeping it simple. We have just a few ingredients, and we start off with some uh, Kerrygold cheese. Now. Uh, you'll need about seven or eight ounces. This comes in a seven ounce block. And what I did was I took half of it and I just shredded it up. Then I took the other half and made it in some slices. Now you need about eight slices of cheese for your chicken breast. Four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I slid a pocket in mine. Four ounces of fresh breadcrumbs, or I chose to use panko. I think these are going to be an excellent addition. About an ounce of Mediterranean herbs. Now, I couldn't find an authoritative definition of Mediterranean herbs, so I used some basil, some sage, some marjoram, and Italian flat leaf parsley. And I just chopped that up finely, or semi-finely, and we're using that. Two medium eggs, which we're gonna scramble up here to use for, for our dipping. And then about a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is kosher salt. The first thing I wanna do is get my breadcrumbs, my herbs, my salt and my shredded cheese together. Now you can choose to grate your cheese up a lot smaller than I did. That's entirely up to you and what kind of cheese grater you have. This is gonna work fine for me. Set that aside. Now I wanna insert my cheese into my chicken breast, get those ready. And you can see I cut a pocket in each one. I'm just gonna take two slices and put it in there. Time to get our egg together. And prepare to get messy. We're going to set up our station here and then I'm going to put my chicken on the Wilton baking sheet. So I'm going to take my chicken. We're going to dip it lightly in the egg. Get messy here and get our chicken coated in this and just lay that on our sheet. And here's what we have. Our four chicken breasts are ready. We have them in our Wilton baking sheet. Uh, you can butter the sheet if you want. Uh, I just put this in completely dry on mine. I think it'll work out just fine. And now we're going to put this in our kettle pizza accessory, which is sitting at about 375 degrees right now. Right in the center there. Now we're gonna cook this for approximately 45 minutes or until the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. About halfway through your cook, you wanna put on a pair of heavy gloves, rotate your pan so everything cooks evenly. Oh, look at that. Uh, beautiful. Just coming along nicely. And that's it, watch the clock. Make sure you got a thermometer to check your temp. Well, it's been about 48 minutes exactly, and our chicken's up to temp. Let's take a look. Look at that beautiful cheese just oozing out of there. A beautiful panko crust, that Dubliner Irish, Irish cheese. So let's plate this up. Hey, we did it, I got it plated. I'm dying to get a piece of this with the cheese on it. Oh, look at that. It blends so nicely with the chicken. And yet you notice how well it held up. It doesn't just melt and, and spread all over the place. It was able to hold up under these temperatures and we cooked it to 165 degrees. It still has some consistency in there. That's just a great quality cheese. Uh, the panko crust is light, yet it has some flavor in it with those mixed herbs. This is good. Kerrygold, thank you so much for letting me cook this recipe. 
Uh, I hope everybody out there tries this. Go to kerrygold.com, check out their cheeses, their butters, and their other ingredients. And they got a whole bunch of recipes on there, and I'll have the links down below. But before I go, I want to make sure that everybody is subscribing to my channel because that's what keeps things hopping. So please take a minute, subscribe. And then when you do, click the box that says you get email notifications from me. And that way, as soon as I put a video up, you're going to find out. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm going to go eat my dinner. I'll see you.